We've gone beyond simple data types now and looked at ways to group them together and create our own enums. Let's recap what we learned. First up, arrays store many values in one place and read them back out using integer indices. Arrays must always be specialized. They contain one specific type, arrays of strings, arrays of ints and similar. Plus they have helpful functionality, things like count, append, contains and more. Dictionaries also store many values, but rather than using indices, we read the values out using keys we specify, such as strings. Again, they must be specialized to have one specific type for the key and for the value, but they also have lots of helpful functionality like contains, count, and more. Sets are a third way of storing lots of values in one place. Again, specialized, but now we don't choose their order. They store their things in a highly optimized order for things like, does it contain item X? It's extraordinarily fast for sets. They are enums. They let us create our own specific types to handle a range of values that make sense in our program. Things like a list of actions the user can perform or a list of files we're able to write or types of notifications and more. Come on. <laughs> Doggo. Come on. That's enums. Very, very helpful for limiting data to specific values. Both of you, eh? Fine. Uh, by default, Swift uses type inference to figure out what we're storing. So when we assign a value to something, it goes, aha, you're assigning a string. This thing must be a string. Or aha, assigning an integer or double, whatever, make it a double. Uh, it's really, really helpful to have that. But sometimes you'll also want to have type annotation to force a particular type. This is the right type here, perhaps because you have missing data or because you want to override Swift's choice. You had a treat a minute ago, we're cheeky. Now out of arrays, dictionaries and sets, it is safe to say you're gonna use arrays by far the most. And they are just so common throughout your Swift code. It's just the number one of all these types. After that, dictionaries, still very common, but less so than arrays by a long way. And last of all are sets. And that means sets are uh, unhelpful or not useful. You will use them, but it's more like you'll, you'll know when you need them.